Despite the advances Celgene Corporation CELG, is accomplishing in its R. How, then, should investors interpret the company's latest deep dive in its multiple myeloma presentation? The update will not nudge the stock towards a $100 share price, as investors become keenly aware not to pay a premium for Celgene's IP at this time. Celgene has the potential to dominate the market for drugs that treat multiple myeloma. On its presentation, the company said that even though there are 72 therapies for the disease, there is still no cure. Source, Celgene Revlimid sales, meanwhile, rose by around 19% to $2.23 billion. From the two approaches for treating multiple myeloma, protein homeostasis and B-cell maturation antigen, BCMA, Celgene has a deeper understanding of the disease than its competitors. It uses molecular characterization and immune profiling to profile the disease. It may translate this knowledge in the immunology space, from phenotyping to immune profiling to immune cell profiling. Financial implications Celgene may potentially add over $16 billion in peak revenue through 2030. Ozanamod is the biggest contributor to this ad. The company is factoring stable to growing drug pricing, limited competition, and a receptive market. The implied sales total would represent nearly half of the revenue it makes today. As current shareholders already know, the product delay, due to the receipt of a refusal to file letter on Feb. 27 is a reminder that any study faces unexpected delays. Still, Celgene probably modeled the delays in its timelines in its forecast. This would imply that the stock still has long-term value. From the demand side, the market will meet Celgene's sales forecast if patients and insurance companies agree that the cost of treatment would lead to a longer life. Source, Celgene When the drug decreases the depth and duration of each relapse, the treatment is favorable to the current standard of care. By lowering the overall cost of care, investors may assume patients get insurance coverage while also complying with treatment. Opportunity Celgene's external network growth ultimately complements its internal know-how in the drug's development. This ultimately creates a wider moat against its competitors. For a list of drugs approved for treating multiple myeloma, the investor will deduce the importance of Celgene's quadrupling and ongoing collaboration since 2012. The company and its partner network are hopeful of getting more collaboration molecules from the endeavor. Source, Celgene The partner network for biologics is growing, as shown below. Celgene's partnership with Vividian Therapeutics will generate more research in the small molecules development. Vividian gets $101 million upfront. In return, Celgene gets exclusive worldwide rights, while Vividian gets up to double-digit royalties and payments for both sales and milestones. Celgene's are the company's partnership with Bluebird Bio Blue in developing anti-B cell maturation antigen BCMA chimeric antigen receptor CAR T cell therapy for the potential treatment of patients with relapse refractory multiple myeloma. Study BB 2121 trials initiated, so investors will not know for a while if the study is successful. But Celgene has a multitude of other studies that holds promise, source, Celgene putting it together, Celgene's Juno unit will study JCARH-125. In effect, Juno will race with BB-21217 in publishing data results and reporting solid numbers. B flat 21217 may have an edge in posting strong numbers due to its partnership with Bluebird Bio. Takeaway Celgene's stock price is a frustration for shareholders because it does not reflect the long-term upside potential in the drug pipeline. 
sell jeans valuation could top around $100 if the company grows revenue at 15 to 20 percent annually over the next five years. A five-year DCF revenue exit model would suggest the stock is trading at discount, source, Finbox.io CELG data by Y charts at a forward 7.7 times PE, Celgian trades at below that of Gilead Sciences, Guild, 10.4 times forward PE. And yet Celgene could come out with therapies that will exceed the company's 20% growth forecast over the next five years. Buying the stock now has its short-term risks but the negative momentum may reverse at any time. It just needs a few more positive data points from its studies and a stronger outlook from management. That would get the stock rebounding. Disclosure, I, we have no positions in any stocks mentioned, and no plans to initiate any positions within the next 72 hours. I wrote this article myself and it expresses my own opinions. I am not receiving compensation for it other than from Seeking Alpha. I have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this article.